Hello, 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 and what is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to more Pokemon Shuffle on the Nintendo 3DS. Here we are with another weekly update and we'll see what they have in store for us today. It is a Tuesday, if you guys don't know, every Tuesday the game does update. Well, it does in the United Kingdom anyway. I'm pretty sure it's the same worldwide. But um, last week we had Typhlosion, which was awesome for me because I'm a huge fan of him. And it's the first time we've seen him in this game, so we've got some new extra data this time round. Uh, it must be some sort of a big update here, I'm not really sure what it's got in store for us, but it's going to be pretty big. And um, I doubt, uh, you can't always find out just when you update something, you have to check online just to make sure. But hopefully it does tell us uh, what's new, so we can uh, hopefully check that out. But um, yeah, let's take a look. So extra data has been added, and we have... See, this might not even be useful to me because I'm still very, very much behind in the main story. Not really a story, but you know, in the main stages. And uh, I've got a lot of caption ups to do. Seriously, I've got like 200 levels I missed out on. But we have a competitive stage here, which seems like a Charizard. Charizard X appears in the next competitive stage. Alright, which you can catch in Expert 18. So cool, we have that now with us. And usually there's some sort of like bonus. You can, once you beat the one in the Expert levels, and then you beat this one. You'll get rewarded with some sort of items and stuff like that. We have the Zygarde here. Um, so quite a few things here. I'm not even sure which one to go with. A Zekrom, which looks awesome. Something I'm really, really interested in. You've got an Escalation Battle of Deontay. Shaman appears. Lugia is still around. Typhlosion is still around, of course. So quite a few things going on here. And um, not really sure where to start. But if Zekrom, if we haven't caught Zekrom, which I'm pretty sure we haven't, then I would love to go with that one. And we also have this little fella. And damn, it's a daily Pokemon. I haven't even caught this, so that would definitely be worth doing. We have Shaman here, which we have caught. Um, wait, Deontay. I'm pretty sure we caught this thing. Is this like a different form? I'm not even sure if it comes in different forms, but yeah. Escalation Battle. We have definitely caught this. Um, it just doesn't state it, but just for getting to level 10, you receive a thousand coins, so it's very much worth doing. And then, yeah, pretty much everything here we haven't caught, so there's a lot to choose. So I'm going to start things off with Zekrom. And um, 30 moves is what it gives us. Consi consider bringing Exadrill. Um, wow. So yeah, I'm kind of stoked about this. But yeah, we're going to go with this one. And Gengar will be our Pokemon of choice. Because I've done a few stat boosts for him. I've boosted his um, skill gauge. I've also boosted uh, a few other things such as his ability to Mega Revolve a lot quicker, which I feel like will be very useful. We've got a free attack power up here, so we may as well cash it in. And it saves us a few coins. Now with 30 moves, I'm kind of worrying that this is going to be a pretty tough stage. But yeah, Aerodactyl does seem useful already. Gengar's not really going to do much for us, so maybe a bad move on my behalf there. But we'll see how this goes, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so yeah, this is actually bad news, like... Yeah, so Aerodactyl would have been super useful here. Alright, cool, we needed that. I was kind of like worrying, without the disruption, are these still blocks going to go? I mean, they did go, but now they're instantly back, which sucks, but we just got to keep pushing here. And kind of just like, hope for the best. Alright, finally victory is ours. It took some doing. We went with the wrong Pokemon, but obviously we did not know what to expect. Aerodactyl would definitely be 
your best bet. I mean, there's a few others which would be useful, but I think Aerodactyl would be the most convenient one for this course, as there's a lot of destructions, a lot of steel blocks, and it would just be very much useful. You have 30% we are working with here, which isn't a great deal, which, yeah, got us nowhere, absolutely nowhere. We do have a catch quality superpower catch booster, whatever you want to call these things, it gives us 49%. Now, that isn't a great deal, but I think it's going to be worth a go. We're going to go, we're going to give this a, a shot. And uh, we're 49% it is below half, but hopefully luck is on our side. And it is, thank goodness it is. Oh, that was that was kind of oh heart's beating, my heart's beating. I didn't want to have to go cash out another bunch of coins just to attempt this again because I really wanted Zetcom. We finally caught him. 200 coins as a reward. A rank B, which isn't great. But um we'll take the capture, that's what it's all about, getting the capture. And an attack power of 80, which is that's incredible, that's really really good. And ability wise, block smash plus, which sometimes clears free unbreakable block disruptions. Wow, alright cool, so I really love the look of Zekrom, always been a fan um, since it ever released and there we go. So we still got a few things which do need attempting and um, we should definitely get straight to those. We got this here, I'm not even sure what these coins represent, is that like the difficulty or what? But yeah, this one does seem difficult. I mean, it should be difficult. Difficult is a dragon type. All dragons are difficult, but yeah. If you do want to see more, we'll definitely attempt these in the near future. But until then, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Stick around. There's a lot more Pokemon Shuffle to come, and I hope to see you all next time. See ya.